Sky Trolley has developed a bus rapid transit technology that can be built in the road lanes next to the sidewalk. In most North American cities, buses use these lanes in the morning and evening rush hours, and the rest of the time, this lane is used for street parking. Sky Trolley's unique configuration of support structure, vehicle, and stations does not disrupt the existing road traffic and does not require acquisition of private property. One of the main advantages of this technology is that it utilizes the free street space above the streetlights. Now public transit buses can travel above the road traffic. The wider and longer sky trolley buses can each carry 300 passengers comfortably, making the system capacity equivalent to building 20 traffic lanes in each direction for single occupancy vehicles. The concrete foundations, spaced 120 feet apart, support prefabricated steel columns. These columns in turn support the steel guide beams. The electrical motor, rubber-tired propulsion system is located on top of the bus. The wheels travel inside a box guide beam, giving the passengers a smooth, quiet ride. When ice or snow stops road traffic and other rapid transit, the weatherproof box beams guide the Sky Trolley buses from the suburbs to the downtown and back to get commuters to their destination in comfort and safety. A mass transit system where the passenger vehicle hangs from a trackway is known as a suspended monorail. This technology has seen daily service in Wuppertal, Germany, since 1901 and in Shonan, Japan, since 1970. Large open-air passenger stations for suspended monorails are functionally similar to those seen on any elevated rapid transit system. Stairs, escalators, and handicap elevators are used to access the elevated station platforms. Sky Trolley is the only rapid transit system in the world where the entire station platform moves up and down like a giant elevator. The platforms lift passengers from sidewalk level three floors to the elevated bus. The enclosed climate-controlled Sky Trolley station house and passenger platform is designed to be built in the 12-foot wide road lane between the trackway and support columns. Sky Trolley riders pass through the station entrance door, then through the electronic fare gate, and into the elevator to wait for the next bus. As the bus approaches, the elevator begins to move upward to meet the incoming bus. The bus docks with the station and the bus and elevator doors open to let exiting riders leave the bus, and then the riders in the elevator board the bus. When the elevator has reached the ground level, the passengers exit to the city sidewalk. For safety and security reasons, passengers are under the watchful
watchful eyes of a station attendant, as well as surveillance cameras. The attendant has control over all entrance and exit doors, as well as fare collection. To prevent overcrowding on the buses, the station fare gates and the passenger monitoring software will ensure that there will be no more than 300 passengers on a bus. An advantage of the compact sky trolley stations located on busy streets in full view of the traffic is the potential for outdoor advertisements. Each station will have supports for electronic advertising signs or billboards. This space may be rented to advertisers to help the city offset the capital cost of the station. The prefabricated trackway and modular station units provide efficiencies that reduce the site construction schedule by over 30%. The Sky Trolley system is a rapid transit hybrid between the subway and a surface light rail transit. The subway does not take up road lanes, but it has a large carbon footprint because it costs over twice as much to construct. The surface light rail is less expensive to construct, but it has only half the rush hour capacity of Sky Trolley, and it takes up existing traffic and parking lanes that will be needed if North American cities are to achieve higher densities in the 21st century. The Sky Trolley elevated bus can be 25% less expensive to build than other traffic separated rapid transit technologies. There is no private property needed for constructing the trackway and stations, and no subway construction is required anywhere along the line, even where there are steep roads. The elevated buses can travel above any roads where existing surface buses travel. 